Simone, it's great to speak to you. How was your summer? Yeah, summer was, uh, was really good. Um, kind of nice just to switch off after a tough year, um, but very much ready to get going again now. Moving on to footballing matters, you experienced your first minutes in an Aston Villa shirt towards the back end of last season. Have you caught your breath yet? <laughs> yeah, that was probably my biggest goal that I set myself was, you know, just get any form of minutes and make my debut. Um, and I was delighted that I was able to do that and probably got more minutes than I was expecting. So I was just taking that as a really positive thing and something to build off uh, going into this pre-season. And then you've gone straight from that into international duty. How beneficial did you find it for those minutes to ramp up as they did? Yeah, getting away with Northern Ireland again was another thing that you know I really wanted to do. Um, and to get quite substantial minutes there was, again, it just puts me in really good stead. Um, I kind of didn't really want to stop um, when the season ended, so um, just had to kind of try to tick over as much as I could to get to international. And again, now I'm back in pre-season, hopefully I can just you know keep looking forward and building on that. You've alluded to it there, those minutes both with Aston Villa and Northern Ireland must have left you feeling really hungry to start this new season. Yeah, you know, because I think it was a case of once I got going, the season ended and then I had camp, got going again and then it still wasn't time for pre-season. So I think I'm very much ready now to just crack on, you know, get my head down, work hard and get back to the level that I know I can, you know, operate at. I, I, I know that'll take time, but, um, you know, I've got to just trust the process and this is still very much part of the, the comeback, but I'm just happy to actually feature in this year's pre-season. Again. You've alluded to it there, in, in contrast to the way in which your Aston Villa career started last summer, it must just feel so good for you that on the first day of pre-season you're fit and ready to go. Yeah, that's it and you know there's no question marks over anything now, you know I'm very much just part of the squad um, and I can just have hopefully a, a normal pre-season like everybody else and, and just build up my fitness, my sharpness and get touches on the ball and, and hopefully get some good minutes as well to build off. If you could, what sort of conversations have you had with the coaching staff, particularly with Carla Ward, because when you signed the squad looked a lot different to the way it does right now. How have those conversations been with the manager? Yeah, you know, like you said, when I joined it was obviously um, last year and, and a lot has changed and, you know, it's very much a case of now, let's just get the head down, let's work hard and, you know, let's try things in pre-season and see what happens. You know, I'm just very happy just to you know feature in pre-season and yeah I want to work hard and I want to get back to the level that I know I can operate at and, and hopefully be a part of that um, and you know be a big part of, of, of this club moving forward especially into the season. Just reflecting on last season a little bit more what was it like watching that campaign unfold from your point of view because I think it's safe to say that Aston Villa shocked the league in so many ways. Yeah, you know, I remember the first game. I think that's when it really hit me that, you know, I couldn't feature and be a part of it. Um, so it was frustrating for me because obviously when the girls were doing so well, I wanted to, to feel a part of that on the pitch. Um, but that drove me, you know, to want to get back and get fit as quickly as I could. And, you know, that's where I'm at now. So I just want to be a part of that and, you know, feature, feature in as many games as possible and play my part in that. You've mentioned your own ambitions there, but what do you feel is achievable for this group off the back of last season? Well, we want to push on now. You know, I think we showed everybody what we're capable of. Um, and like you say, no one really expected that. So um, granted, there's probably going to be a little bit more pressure on us this season um, off the back of last season. But I think we've got to use that to our advantage. And, um, you know, we've got to go in and we want to push, we want to push and, and try and break into that top four, so um, it's definitely going to be our aim this season. Great to see you back, all the best. Thank you.